Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more day. I hope everybody is going blessed today. I'm going blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And for my returning subs, my extended family, thank you so much for the love and support that you show me each and every day. It is so great to be appreciated. And for that being said, much love, namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you've been watching my videos and you have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a couple of lines. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, or even if it's about the content of my video, or just giving me positive feedback. Or if you enjoy what you heard resonate with what you heard with go ahead spread the word give me a thumbs up like and even share it would be greatly appreciated and thank you so much for stopping by my channel and today i'm listening to beautiful zen music soothing music relaxing spa music meditation music chakra ricky 3283c I will post that link in the description box below. That was a lot just for that one meditation, but hey, I appreciate that. That was very peaceful. But yet, today my video is about Twin Flame 101 All Impasse. Live for your passion. Live for your passion. Life is too short. <laughs> You're like, girl, I already knew that. Yes, life is too short for us to be miserable for us to be unhappy for us not to be doing that something that doesn't feel like a job it doesn't feel like a job you have to live in your passion i keep hearing that every day live in your passion do what makes you happy this is my happiness but you know it's just like things that get us by that we're in our comfort zone we need to step out those comfort zones it's you know change is good some of us don't like change some of us love to challenge uh change and that's a really good thing too but it's just a lot of us it's just like when we're going through stuff and i mean i am suspect of that too so don't think if i'm telling you something don't think i ain't been through it too please trust and believe i've been through it too so it's just like when you you have to live for your passion just know it's just like the situation you might not you, you might not be happy in the situation you're in but that doesn't mean that you can't prioritize yourself for yourself. You know, there's a lot of things that you hate to do and it just seems like tedious and it just seems like pulling teeth. You might not feel like you're doing what you're doing, that you feel like doing. But push yourself in that direction that you're going towards your goals, that you're going toward not your goals, but your, your passions, your your drive, the things that make you just light up and just burst with energy, like, oh, I love to sing, oh, I love to dance, oh, I love to draw. You know, I know it's like all of us has that passion that can push out positivity if we really truly apply ourselves for it. You know, because there's times that we get scared it was like I, I've said many times, we don't know where this road's leading us. We don't know what's coming. You know, we just know something's coming. We feel that shift. We still we see all these things that are purging out that we need to get rid of. That is pushing us towards the greater good. And that's what it's doing. It's pushing us towards the greater good. And it might shake us up to the point where we're uncomfortable. And I know you know what I'm talking about. You'll be uncomfortable. But it's supposed to make us uncomfortable because it's letting us know we've been in that situation for way too long. We've been in that situation way too long. And I keep hearing that. If you've been in a situation way too long and this stuff just start, just basically shit hitting the fan. Really. And it, it's just like, it can become frustrating. But just so you know, that is happening for a specific reason. We're not supposed to, if it's bad, we're not, we're, we're supposed to know it's bad. We're going to have that gut feeling that you know you're doing something you're not supposed to be doing. Or you're, you're hanging around with people you're not supposed to hang around. You'll, you'll get that feeling. You know better. You know you know better. You're supposed to listen to your passion. Be, you know, it's just like you have that thing that you, you know you want to do. But it's like, I keep hearing for the last few days, you will not get that passion right until we let go of the things that are holding us back. Because it's not like we can hold on to the bad and expect the good to come along with it. We have to be able to let go of that 
so we can open our whole energy up to that whatever is good. And I have to keep telling myself that you can't hold on to the bad stuff. You can't. You can't hold on to drugs. You can't hold on to, you know, well, not drugs. Like, marijuana is not drugs, but it's just, you know, people say it's drugs. It's how people look at it. You can't look at you know, alcohol and stuff like that. And I've really never really been a drinker. Well, I used to be back in the day, but it's like after a couple of experiences, I, you know, I put, you know, my energy in smoking because it took me to my higher self. And it made me see things that, you know, I really truly needed to see. And it was like answers I was getting, but, you know, I had to learn how to do those without having to get high, you know? And it, it became hard, especially with dealing with the things that I had to deal with and purging with the things I had to purge with. I struggle with that each and every day. And I'm not going to lie to you and say I don't when I do. You know, so it's just like I have to live for my passion and know that once I get rid of all these unwanted, necessary things in my life, these toxic people out of my life, everything will come forth, you know, come in forefront for me. It will. So it's just like when I tell y'all stuff, I'm telling y'all for a reason. It's just like all this notification keeps popping up. So if I just keep looking down, y'all know the reason why. But it's just like when we're going for our passion, know that you have to let go of those things. Let go of the toxic people. Let go of the things that's holding you back. If you're, if you have any kind of addiction, even with your negative thinking, that can block your blessing too. And I have to keep myself humble. <laughs> straight and humble for the things that I, all I went through because it's just like there become times where things will come right smack dead in my face and it's the ugly truth and it's like you know you need to let go of these things so why are you holding on to them because you were so used to being this way when the new opportunity comes you're so comfortable being this way it's hard to transition out of that because you you don't see where it's going then you want to go back because you don't see where it's going so I had to keep telling myself that know that you, you're going to get through this know that you got so many signs that you know my, my dad's here he tells me all the time he goes through my sister twin just to talk to me to let me know he's there he sends out songs each and every day if I could be thinking something and boom there it goes so it's just like you, you're not alone on your path, even though you might seem like it is, you know, things might be breaking down, you know, you might be losing your job, you might lose your house, your car, break down, but trust and believe there's something that's going to be replaced with a lot much better if we just open our hearts and look at that perspective to know that there are positive things in, in, in store for us, that we got blessings, all these these bumps and bruises and these wars and trials and tri trials and tribulations we didn't go through these in vain we didn't go through these for no reason trust me there's a purpose spot behind everything you go through there's a meaning behind everything you go through and there's a lesson and a blessing on everything you gotta go through and like my girl misty said misty beliza sit up here and told me hashtag wake up and that's what i'm gonna start doing i'm gonna start using that hashtag wake up when you when you know you got things that you need to do. Wake up. Realize that you got positive things going for you. So I will talk to you later. Much love to you. Peace. Um, keep me in your prayers. I will definitely do the same for you. I hope you're able to resonate with what I was talking about. And much love to you. Keep everybody in your prayers. And I will definitely I will, I will keep me in my, my prayers too. Keep me in your prayers. And I will definitely do the same for you. So now as much love and light as possible positively possible positively possible i don't know what that meant but you know what i'm saying be be, be pos positive in every possible way <laughs> let me retort with that let me remix that a little bit but y'all know what i'm talking about but just spread love to one another be keep your frequency high you know stay you know stay positive as much as you can no matter what situation you're in know that it will not stay that way and if it's good trust me more is yet to come and i'll see you on my next video please <laughs> be wild